I am Flash Isaac, and today I'll be taking you through trigonometry. Trigonometry is simply a branch of mathematics that deals with the ratio of the sides and angles of a triangle. This shows that trigonometry deals with triangle, and we are concerned about the sides and angles of triangles. Give if this is A, B, and C, these are the sides of a triangle. Now, the angles are here. This triangle is called right angled triangle because one of the angles is 90 degrees. So let's here be C, let's here be capital A, let's here be B. So when you see an angle like this, it represents angle 90 and it's a right angle. So a triangle whose one of its angle is uh, 90 degrees is called right angled triangle. We have equilateral triangle. In equ equilateral triangle, all the sides and angles are equal. The ratio of the sides of a triangle to any of its acute angle is referred to as trig ratios. So these trig ratios shows the relationship between the sides and the angles of triangles. We have six trig ratios while dealing with trigonometry. The first one is sine or sine, S-I-N. We have cosine or you can simply say cos. We have tan, tangent or simply say tan. We have cot, we have sec, and we have cosec. The three most popular trig ratios are sine, cos, and tan. Why these other three are referred to as reciprocal trig ratios? Now, while working with trig ratios, this will enable you remember how they relate easily. So, Tua. Before we go into that, give it this triangle. This longest part is called the hypotenuse. This longest part, or the one that is directly facing this angle, 90, is called the hypotenuse. Now, Look at this part. This part is this acute angle. Any side it is facing this way is called the adjacent. And here is referred to as the opposite. Don't let the position confuse you. If I give you something like this, and here is the acute angle, you see this theta. So this part that is adjacent the theta is the adjacent. This is the hypotenuse, always the longest part, and this will be the opposite. So the part that is facing this theta is the opposite, while the bottom is the adjacent. So when giving triangles, don't let the position confuse you. So when you see this angle, double cross, or this uh, theta, the bottom is usually the adjacent, this is the opposite. Now that we have this, from Sokatoa, here represents sine. This is opposite. This is hypotenuse. Then this C here is cos. This is adjacent. And this is hypotenuse. This T represents tan. So this is tan. This is opposite. And this is adjacent. What does this tell you? It means sine theta. These are the angles theta. Sine theta. Sine of this guy. Is equals opposite OPP over hypotenuse. Similarly, cos theta C is equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Also, tan tan theta tan of angle is equals opposite or 
over hypotenuse over adjacent add if here is a uh, three and here is two for example and i say find this angle what you do is simply look for the trig ratio that can relate uh, this value we have because we don't have adjacent we have opposite and we have hypotenuse so which trig ratio relates opposite and hypotenuse so we simply look opposite hypotenuse so just sine relates opposite and hypotenuse this simply means that uh, to look for this angle theta we simply say sine theta is equals opposite which is 2 over hypotenuse which is 3 this is sine theta so theta is simply equals sine inverse of 2 over 3 so this is how you look for angles in uh, tri uh, trigonometry if this we are missing and we are giving the angle let's say here is 30 degrees to find this side s which is uh, opposite you simply say sine 30 degrees is equals opposite which is s we are looking for over hypotenuse 3 so 3 sine 30 degrees is equals s so this is how you solve using the trig ratios uh, that is it on uh, introduction to trigonometry the next video will be about Pythagoras theorem. So feel free to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any of my videos on that geometry and trigonometry. And I will share a link to Pythagoras theorem below. Thanks for watching.